We're here at FedEx Field for this NFC matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long, and two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers, and no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game, we're going to double team them, really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations very tough to do now you just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff and the tackles made right around the 26 yard line in the slot running to his right spins away from the tackle nice run that time when you run the football like this over a period of time it's going to wear that defense out there's no doubt about it nice job by the offensive line second down after going to the ground game the first play the quarterback motions the wide receiver in trouble now he's got some daylight fakes him out ball is out they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time, the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. Balls on the ground. When a running back fumbles early in the game, it just gives the defense confidence. And now they are going to attack. They are full of emotion and look out. First down here after the run. And Morris is called on once again. Coming up, second down. Looks to his left. Secure as good as it gets. Touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The point after try is in the books. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Got a flag. Always one of the more dangerous moments out on the field when you see a flag thrown for clipping. 
Yeah, it is, Jim. The player you are blocking or clipping can't protect himself. And when you go down low on those legs and do that, it's a dangerous play. It's definitely worthy of the call. Michael Vick will be under center. First and 10, LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. A gain of seven. Second down here after that run play. McCoy, he's got a wide open alley. Breaks the tackle. Brought down at the 29. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Michael Vick and Robert Griffin the third. These quarterbacks with similar styles, but separated by about 10 years of experience, Bill. Yeah, I think that's a good analogy of the two. I think the 10 years says a lot. If Michael Vick uh, came out in the NFL and it was like it is now 10 years ago, I think he would have been a different quarterback and probably had more success. Michael Vick is a, has a great throwing arm. Robert Griffin the third is hoping he develops into a great thrower in the NFL. Do you see other similarities between these two? Yeah, I think the similarities between these two quarterbacks, uh, Jim, when you look at them, they have to find a way to stay on the field. That's that's their job for their team. Don't show how brave and tough you are. We know you are. Be healthy so you can line up every single week, every single week, and help your team win. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Michael Vick will be under center. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he got what he wanted. Touchdown. You never know with the talent of these guys nowadays. Little short passes. You think they're harmless, and look what happens. They got so much talent all the way down the field for the score. He made it. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Redskins official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They face first down, and Morris is going to take the handoff now. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. It's now second down. They'll run it off the toss. He's brought down. RG3 has it under center. Third and five. This is a screenplay all the way. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Don't always have to throw the football pass to yard markers. That's another thing I hate to hear. This time, the offense throws it behind the yard markers on the screen pass. Good execution. They pick up a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Running to the right. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. Alfred Morris had a great rookie year for the Washington Redskins. What a surprise he was to the whole NFL with his speed and power. He made big plays. Reed's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First and ten. Now 
now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Robert Griffin III, just one of the young quarterbacks in the league last year that ran the football with a lot of success. He waits till the opportunity is in his favor. He keeps the football at that time, gives down the field, and picks up big yards. First and 10. Looking across the middle, Griffin hits Santana Moss. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. You've got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. The second quarter is underway with this snap. Good run that time. It results in a first down. It moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Tire that defense out. RG3 has it under center. And they go back to the ground. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. being stuffed at the line of scrimmage. It's now second down and 10. Redskins in for the score. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. And the point after is good. Redskins ready for action. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The defense comes out of the dime. First and 10. They give it to the running back. Unstoppable. The 40. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He's into the open, and he's got the first down. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent. But the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Redskins ready to return the kick. setting up the return. The tackle is made. RG3 has it under center. First and 10, Poffs to the outside. Tackle down right around the 47. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, you could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He is tackled right at the 50.
And Morgan's lined up in the slot. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Moss is lined up now as a slot receiver. First to 10, and Morris has got it on the handoff. Number 46, the ball carrier on the play. Three yards gain on the play. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Running a little college-like option. Washington in the end zone. Touchdown. This is not one of the faster running backs in the NFL. So for him to get through the line of scrimmage and go for a long touchdown run, you've got to blame the defense. Bad angles of attack, no doubt about it, but lack of hustle gives up the touchdown. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. be under center first and ten here's the give to LaShawn McCoy holds him to seven and now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield Jeremy Macklin makes the grab how about that we just saw the fly route straight down the field by the wide receiver Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. McCoy is handed the football. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second and 11. McCoy is going to secure the handoff. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. The Redskins signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. And the tackle by Brian Arakpo. Good job by the offense. Get another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field the defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. McCoy's taking the handoff. Left side. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Second down now. Vic sells the play fake and looks downfield. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They all just pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. receiver shifting around in motion third and goal from the four he's looking to the right here on this throw rocks him with that hit and the ball's gonna fall incomplete take the points that's what I'm telling you coach take the points you didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's 
fourth and goal. So that's not going to get it done here. And the offense is going to turn it over on downs. This is really demoralizing. When you drive the football down the field, you're in a fourth down situation. You want to keep this drive going. Terrible play call by the coach. Stops the drive. The Eagles go with the dime formation here on defense. First and 10. Throws to the right. He makes the catch. Good job by the receiver. Running into that defense through the zone. Finding the open space and making a nice catch. And Morgan's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Wide open for the catch. Well, doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Moss is a receiver in the slot. Interception. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. Shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. And he's going to pitch it here. Runs out of bounds. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Up the middle. The Eagles are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Third down and four. He's wide open for the grab. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. Good, 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 good. After the long game, let's see what they do here. The Finds the sacred sod. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. And it's a fake. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Redskins are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. RG3 from the gun. Launches it down the field. A takeaway. around the breaks away that brings the play to an end that does it for the first half Redskins trail in this one we're back here now in this one where the Eagles lead by one let's check in now with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines I got a chance to quickly speak with coach Shanahan during halftime and this is what he told me it's kind of a miracle we're still in this game considering how many times we've turned the ball over our defense played great in the first half, but we can't keep giving the ball away and putting the burden on them. The offense is going to have to pick it up. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field.
Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield, looking for an open receiver on the right. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Throws the pass. Makes the grab. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. This play set up by the long gainer. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Alfred Morris, you could have given him the Rookie of the Year award. That's how good he was for the Washington Redskins. What a terrific job running the football. Broke tackles, and he was the surprise of the NFL last year. First down here after the run. On first down, it's back to the ground game. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard run. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. The ball carrier on the play. No game. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun on the spot. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Play number six coming up on this drive. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. Second down. Another handoff. He is in for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts him ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. now for the two-point conversion. Robert Griffin the third from the shotgun. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. down coming up looking to the right side and throwing the Eagles now move the chains well when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route it is about timing when that receiver 
makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack, without any blitz. Third down and 11. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be OK. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. First down and 10. Searching for space to the right. Well, when you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He's looking to the right here on this throw. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, Look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. That long gain sets them up here on this play. He'll go left. Eagles in the end zone. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power of football at its best. The Eagles for the extra point. Oh, it's a fake. Throws to the right. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The receiving team has the recovery. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Garcon's in the slot. First and 10, and Morris is going to take the handoff now. Going to lose yards here. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Advancing it now inside the 40. The Redskins offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. And Morgan's lined up in the slot. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. And Morgan's lined up now as a slot receiver. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corner. Morris is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. 
What a run by Alfred Morris. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down following the run, and Morris has got it on the handoff. And you're an offensive lineman, and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards. You are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the seventh. Set up screen. The ball is jarred loose. A recovery by the defense. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and ten. That's a two-point safety, and that means you also have to send the ball back to the other team with a free kick at the 20. He's going to try and return this one. Tackles made. lined up in the backfield. He has the grab. And Patrick Chung is able to bring him down. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. down here after the completion and Morris is handed the football so many things you could do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock, has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. Drag is out. That's a face mask call, and of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. Hard to score touchdowns sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Thought I saw a little flinch right there, and it's going to push the offense back five yards. Offense. Still second down. This one's running out, and the defense knows. Touchdown, Redskins! Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Go 
gets set, looking to convert on this two-point try. But there's a flag thrown in. When you talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Spins away from contact. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. He's scrambling now. Got a little crease. Gain of six. Good job that time by Mike Vick. Nobody opened down the field, and after all these years in the NFL, this guy can still run. Nice job picking up the extra yards. Third down on the way. Drop back, shotgun formation. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Shit. Damn ball game. What it do? Cooper's gonna get set in the slot for this snap. Go D. Go D. He'll fire it out to the there left. Go. The Redskins yeah, start the ball over on downs. Situations like this sometimes can cost you the game. Cool. You're down stop. in the second half. Why would you That's go for it on fourth down game, in this situation? Buddy. You don't get it, that decision might cost you this football game. Good fucking game. Yeah, you have to burn, though. Oh, time here. First down here. And Morris is going to secure the handoff. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. No Second down coming up. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. A lot of ways you can play here. You've got a small lead, you're in the red zone. You stay aggressive, try to score, catch the defense off guard. Not me. I think I'd play it very safe. Good fucking game, buddy. Uh, get ready to go to work now. Oh, man. Getting a look at the Wildcat here. Now first and ten. Heading right. Redskins <laughs> is for the score. That Open may wild, have man. been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting. To end it like this late in the game, man, you enjoy victories like this. Oh, he actually misses the point after. Redskins ready for action. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Redskins call the timeout. They're first. Boy, time out there. There we go. There we go. The day there. The day there. Go right, Poe. Man, I got to do this shit all fucking game, man. Paper, paper, paper. McCoy is lined up as the single back. 
the wide receiver in motion. Avant's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. The Eagles will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And it's incomplete. I think that time the receiver stopped, turned, looked at the quarterback and goes, what are you trying to do? You're trying to kill one -on -one, me? Buddy. Rolling the football on a post Let route into a single back. high safety? That is disaster just waiting to happen. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And the they can't do that. What a good job now, by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown one -on -one. beautifully down the field. The High game, marking dude. throw, but the defensive back in oh, great God. position knocks it down. Oh, yeah. evil, 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 evil. The defense comes out in the nickel. The running back goes in motion. It'll be a third and ten. Fix looking long. What a catch. The Eagles have to take their final timeout. That's it. Well, one of the prettiest plays in the NFL, maybe in all of sports, is still the long pass down the field that is completed. What a nice throw and catch. Get up on him. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Fix looking long. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole that, lot bro. more interesting. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays. In the that, no. The fade route. The defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw. Nice touchdown. Oh, one more thing. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. This is going to be fucking ball, man. How about the onside oh, hit is turned away, yeah. and the receiving team has it. Hold him back. You tried. You played your heart out. Go practice. <laughs> Go practice. <laughs> oh, my nigga RG, man. He's gonna be in a fucking... First down. Offense ready for the snap. Boy. Takes it in. Go to the Redskins, never. Know what time it is. Good, man. Get the game up. Get the game up. Don't quit. Don't quit, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're looking for that mic, ain't you? Get the little sorry ass on the mic, then. <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah. All that bullshit you were running. Hurry up, man. Little oh, sorry, yeah. Coming to the line at the 48. Game on. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays. But we've come to an end, and what a game it was. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. <laughs> That's right. It's all about me, and it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes. But it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country. All your peers, they watch you. It just doesn't get better.